Hello, my name is Hans Nalu. I'm a noob game designer, noob programmer, and noob YouTube broadcaster. So there you have it, an all-round noob. Oh, and I'm Danish, by the way, in case anyone is wondering about my weird accent. But I have a dream. I want to create a turn-based RPG in the style of Fallout 1 or 2, or the upcoming Shadowrun Returns, in case you've heard about that. you probably played it by now if it's been more than a month since this video came out. But I want my game to be set in a medieval fantasy world, with a bit of the atmosphere from the classic Darklands back from 1992. Now that is quite an ambition, I know. It might never succeed, I might get bored with it after a year and give up, but you never know. I might actually succeed. Maybe I will find some friends to help me along this way. In any case... In any case, I wanted to make this a sort of documentary that others, like me, who want to get into game making but I've never attended any classes in programming, might find inspirational, or even educational. So, what do I have here? This is Game Maker Studio version 1.1.964. I have been out shopping the net for free game making tools. I've tried around five, including RPG Maker VX Ace, which is for a Japanese manga kind of RPGs I found, so I left that one alone. Um, I tried Construct 2, I played around with that for a few days, and Stencil, I tried that for about half a day, um, and some others. They all have their pros and cons, but this was the one I ended up choosing. There are a bunch of others if you want to make 3D games, uh, but I was only interested in old-fashioned 2Ds. I'm sure there are others than those I've tried out there, maybe one is better, but I've decided that I've shopped around enough, and I'm going to try working with this one. I've tried it for a bit, and I kind of like how it's working. I also found some good tutorials, and I found that I can actually look up stuff in the manual and find out how it's working, so that's cool. Um... Oh yeah, I, I found a nice little list on pingugamedevelopmer.blogspot.com I'll make sure to put a link in the video description. I just switch to it and scroll down a bit. And so this are all individual game making programs, programs for assisting in game making that you can download. Um, some of them are genuinely free, some have free versions with limited features, and yeah, some of them will only give you a trial. Anyways, my project here in um, Game Maker Studio, I have a project here, project 1, which is, it shows the path to it. Yeah, here we are in the... Um, in the, in the project, in the, in, the, in the program, we have over here the um, sort of the various things that our game is going to be made up of. We have sprites for the graphics, backgrounds, sounds, not what I'm concerned about right now, but it'll come eventually. Uh, some scripts, which is sort of uh, codes, uh, programming code, that will be used for several objects. Uh, fonts, timelines, I haven't really tried that yet. But I've worked around a little bit with objects and, and rooms so far. I have my uh, control object here. Um, it's name control object because that's how I learned it from watching another YouTube tutorial um, by Velocity11. So, uh, thanks go out to her, I think. Um, 
yeah, it has some uh, events in this window, and um, there's a name, of course, the object, visible, persistent, um, so various functions I'll try to explain maybe later, and um, each event has some um, some code. I've been writing it in, in code. For example, if you look at this step here, this this my code, and um, yeah, this program also has the ability to sort of program using these um, sort of standard code thing. You, you can program it graphically. I haven't really tried as so much in this um, program, Game Maker. I tried using graphical programming in um, Construct 2 and Stencil. They had some different approaches to it, but I sort of, yeah, after I just saw a video about how to type in the code, I thought typing in the, um, the code would give you a bit more control, a bit more, a few, a few more options. Um, so that's what I ended up wanting to do. Um, I think maybe this, this is enough for the first video. So, for anyone who might be watching this, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time!